Hi, welcome to House Television. I'm Erin Crawford. Decorating a home of this size with a particular theme in mind can be a daunting task, but for this established high-end designer, it was executed exquisitely. Her name is Marilyn Rose. I, um, I'm at a location of one of my most favorite houses that I did. Um, it originally was a small ranch house when my client bought the property. He knew that he was going to tear the house down because the uh, spot on the water is quite magnificent. Um, and he knew that this was the piece of property that he wanted to own. And so the feeling of the house is a Tuscany villa. The gentleman who owns the home is a wine connoisseur and collector and wanted the home to reflect that, which I think it does do architecturally. Everything pertains to a Tuscany vineyard or a French vineyard. And I feel that we did accomplish that on, on many levels. Upon entering the house, uh, the ceilings are about 20 feet with mahogany trusses. The furnishings in the front hall were some that were uh, from the previous home that the homeowner had. Um, there is a Venetian settee in an alcove and a niche that is about early 18th century. There are leather chairs and so on that also were antique from the other house. Um, and I just think you have a very warm, inviting feeling as you come into the entrance. There are several axes in the house of um, hallways leading to, to specific areas. Uh, as you come down the first axis to the living room, you will see the focal point of the fireplace and some of the furnishings. Everything in the living room um, all the fabrics were all textures. Um, the creation of the color scheme came from the oriental rugs and actually every color that is in the room, which is, is really almost monochromatic with beiges and taupes and just touches of terracotta, were ar arrived at through the uh, color scheme of the rugs. Furnishings were made, a lot of them were made in Italy a hand carved in Italy. Um, some pieces were uh, custom made. The dining room which leads off the living room flows from one area to the next and the chandelier in the dining room was also something that the homeowner had but it worked perfectly here. The dining room table was also made in Italy and has beautiful inlays on the top then you move into the kitchen. As you move into the kitchen, it also has um, not a formal feeling to it with honey-colored cabinets. Over the stove is a custom tile design of the view out of the kitchen area, which is the open water and the bridges, um, which is, is a reflection of the view that you really do see. I helped create the kitchen as a collaboration with another designer. In the family room, there were two focal points, and it was very important to be able to utilize them and have them function well. One area was for a wall unit for the big screen TV, and I did a sofa table behind it, and I did back-to-back -back sofas, so which is a little bit unusual. Um, and the second sofa faced out to the water with a circle of chairs and an ottoman so it wasn't an exact uh, duplication of the other seating arrangement. And as you pass through the beautiful entryway, the staircase is at the rear of the entryway, which takes you to the second level and a t little balcony that looks down on the front hallway. Um, and then you walk into the master bedroom, um, very bold and strong. The bed is, is located on the wall to see the view. And then we go through 
um, a little vestibule area into the master bathroom, which has a breathtaking view of the, long, of the sound. Then there are uh, children's rooms. Um, generally speaking, the house was created on the original footprint of the earlier home. Uh, the rooms are lovely sizes. Everyone has their own space, plus a guest room. And I think the all-over scheme and the all-over feel is what the homeowner was looking for.